So, a lot of people said, hey, it's about time we eliminate House Targaryen, don't you think? Well, <laughs> they have just been in introduced into the game, so I suppose it is a little bit of short notice for them. But, that's what we're going to be doing. Welcome back to A Clash of Kings Reformers. And this is the first vassal that we will be... Oh, hello. <laughs> didn't even know he had this many. I really didn't. I thought to myself, he's most likely only going to have a maximum of about 200. But no, apparently he has come out with Aegon himself. Because obviously Aegon Targaryen is in the garrison here. I actually thought to myself, oh, we won't have to fight him because there will only be one vassal coming outside and, uh, you know, doing some damage to us. But, ah, this is, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting indeed. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do this. As you can see, we have 42 and the enemy has 84. Exactly double what we have on the battlefield. So this is going to be harsh one way or another. Either it's going to be harsh for them and it's going to be extremely easy for us. No, it won't. Because, as I say, difficulties on, what is it now, 76% or something like that? So, yeah, we're going to have some difficulties. Maybe I should have increased the battle size. Uh, I keep thinking of doing that, you know, but uh, I don't know. I just always forget to do it. Oh, well, never mind. I mean, it's all, we're, we're already outnumbered. I don't know whether I really need to make us out, be outnumbered any further than this. So anyway, I'm just going to get off my mount because literally, it's just more effective. It is just more effective. Let's see what we can do here. Now, as people have said in the comments, the Golden Company is not the greatest. The Golden Company is not great, so they are maybe going to be a little bit easier for us to deal with, but who knows? I don't exactly know whether that it will be the case for us, but... You know, considering we are outnumbered, it's going to be kind of difficult, I think. So let's just see if I can maybe impact the situation somewhat well. Uh, are we losing people? How many people are we losing so far? I don't even know right now. We've lost 9, they've lost 27, so we're eliminating 3 times the amount that they are. So if we can continue that kind of ratio, we should have a pretty easy time of things, but... I think I just need to continue slaughtering in my own way here, because if I can do that, then I think we will probably achieve victory. But it's... I don't know. I don't know. We're outnumbered so incredibly heavily, it's going to be difficult either way. And bear in mind that even if I were not to attack these guys on the field of battle, we would have to fight them inside their own garrison. And that is going to be one of those things that you definitely don't want to do. Whoa, I'm getting murdered by this guy. Whoa, okay. Okay, hello Targaryen Vanguard. Apparently you are an absolute beast. And we have in we've just lost all of our people. Hmm. Right, well, let's just tell our people to hold position here. I took a huge amount of damage from that Vanguard. Apparently the Vanguards are very, very good. As well as their archers. Apparently their archers, according to one of you in the comments, have 10 in power draw. Can you believe that? That's just insane. Well, whatever the case. I yeah, There we go. Let's try, and, let's try and win this as best we can. Oh, is that Aegon himself? He does have a... Yes, it is. He has a crown. Maybe we can steal that crown relatively soon and give it to Stannis or something. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, I'm pretty happy with our current situation being on this little island here, because it kind of prevents the enemy from kind of, well, well, it doesn't really prevent them from swarming us that much, but it does prevent them from being a bit too, a bit too able to get over quickly, and uh, that that is obviously a bit of an issue. So, let's just see if we can maybe continue murdering them because obviously the first initial charge that we had is pretty difficult this is a vanguard if we if we can eliminate this vanguard i will be happy there we go the vanguards are very very scary by the looks of things ooh yeah that was close try and eliminate him there we go all right phew i'm actually concentrating a little bit here as well because let's just let's face it i'm i'm not exactly uh, yes, I'm not exactly someone that you would expect to win in this in this kind of situation because let's face it, this guy has so many units at his disposal. It is just insane. So 
Don't know how we're going to do this, especially considering I now no longer have the power of Elias Mormont at my side. And it is going to be one of these. A pretty difficult battle to deal with. We've lost a lot of people. All right. I think I might have to retreat here. And 142. We've lost 58. We can actually leave now. Okay, so I'm... Hmm. Okay, so here you go. This is me right here. And yeah, both of them came outside. Obviously, we know that now. Okay, so I did, I did manage to escape. But the escape was very, very costly. I did not leave behind any units. I just sent in my units to auto-resolve the situation. Uh, by the way, Prince Oberyn Martell is actually over there, which is really bad. And Dawn has just taken Ashford from us. I'm actually going to go into the Weeping Town real quick so I can uh, go into my garrison and see what I can do here. I have so few good units with the exception of the people that I actually had in my army. I actually had 69 Dragonstone Household Guards. Now I only have 47, so that is going to be somewhat bad. I don't even know what to do here right now. I guess we're just going to wait here for some time and restore ourselves. And then, oh, hello. Yeah, they're going to attempt to take this now with a pretty significant force as well. Okay. Hmm. I don't even know what to do right here because technically I'd, I don't want to leave the Weeping Town and I guess this is just going to have to be how it is. They just have to go in here with 1,161 and I am going to have to defend against them. Hopefully I have enough HP to be able to do that because, ooh, just about. Okay, I just about got to max, le uh, max, uh, max level, max HP right there. So this is going to be one of the, probably one of the longest siege defenses that we have ever done, with the exception of the ones that obviously span into the 2000s and 3000s range. But it's pr primarily going to be long, because the enemy has to run from all the way across the map, and as you can see, they have double, once again, well, basically double, the amount of units that we do. Alright, so, whew, we managed to uh, defeat the first wave. Now, <laughs> I don't know whether they're going to decide to run away now. But hopefully they will give us a little bit of time. Okay, apparent, apparently not. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, we lost a pretty significant amount of units because, let's face it, most of my forces in the garrison, with the exception of my own army, are actually not very good. I've just basically got peasants and archers, and the archers were not very good at all. They were basically running in and not doing anything good. They were basically just running in, in melee, and just dying. And then if they weren't, they were running away from the ladder. In other words, making it so that the enemy was able to get onto the battlements. And uh, yeah, that was, that was not very good. So we had to defend basically this entire battlement right here. And that was it. And I uh, basically just had to continue killing people over and over and over. And thankfully, we were able to defeat them. But I don't know whether we will be able to continue because as I, as I thought that we lost so many units in that, initial, uh, in that initial charge. So I guess we'll see how it progresses. The blood must be spilt and I'm kind of really needing to maybe get a slightly better two-handed weapon because as you know, if you knock someone unconscious, in a siege defense, they can basically just go, oh, okay, and then just run away, restore themselves, and then come back, basically at almost full strength, because most of the kills I'm getting right here are obviously going to be unconsciousness, because obviously I'm using a blunt weapon, but this is basically the only weapon that I can really count on to deal significant damage in this kind of situation. So I'm going to have to think about getting a better two-handed weapon of some kind. Maybe I will go and do the the Kohor uh, Valyrian Steel Sword Quest or something like that. Maybe if we can get a better two-handed weapon. I know someone, you know, some other people have told me about the other weapon that you can get from... Well, where was it now? Star... Star something... Uh, I can't remember the name of the thief. But basically, if you take it, 
Uh, there is a chest in the keep, and you can take the sword from there. I think that's how it used to be in a previous version at the very least. So maybe we'll do something like that. And I'm actually taking a huge amount of damage this time around. Not entirely sure why that is. Maybe it's just because I'm commentating or whatever and my concentration is split. But anyway, point is, we will hopefully be able to defend against the wide variety of units that they're sending at us right here. It's Golden Company units, Targaryen units, and, well, anything in between. Oh, okay. Phew. That was, uh... That was pretty close. I, I did actually end up dying right there, but hopefully we will be able to wait here for some time and then actually get a little bit of a respite. And uh, let's actually see what they decide to do here. They're actually staying? I can't believe it. They can't have that many more. I mean, I am knocking them unconscious, which, as I say, is not very good. Let's just say that. It's not very good at all. So I don't... Oh, they're leaving. Yes. Okay. Phew. Oh, and this guy is changing his allegiance. That's great. <laughs> Good work. Good work. And now this guy from Dawn is now attacking Old Town, which is actually really bad. But these guys are now leaving, which I'm really surprised about. But I suppose they're going back to just restore themselves, and then they'll come back to the Weeping Town in just a second. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to recruit some guys. Let's recruit five times here. And then I'm actually going to run all the way over, if I can, in time, all the way over to Old Town. That's going to be, oh yeah, that's just a pre pretty significant way, isn't it? Right, so I actually did not know how many units were in this siege attempt. And I was just waiting inside because I, well, I, uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of deflated because, let's face it, 1,400? Am I going to even... Oh. Well, I suppose I'm going to be saved from the 1,400 because I have just experienced a crash, as you can no doubt hear. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I have loaded back up. We have returned to the Weeping Town. I went over to Old Town, uh, obviously, again to uh, to just basically get these guys, to get these guys really, because obviously I captured them a long time ago and I would like to get their ransoms if at all possible. Now, of course, it was a bit difficult for me to get over there because there are a huge amount of Dornish vassals, there are a lot of Targaryens, a lot of Westerlands, and they are all basically picking on Dragonstone a huge amount right here. So this is going to be a very trying time for the Dragonstone faction, and I don't exactly know whether we're going to be able to accomplish anything here. As you can see, I have spent 8,000 on recruiting for 10 times because I want to try and shore up as much as possible the Weeping Town's garrison, and then we'll see what we can do, I guess. Or I'm going to see if I can take on this guy. He's actually just running by the Weeping Town right now. He has someone with him, but I felt like this was basically my best shot to try and weaken the Targaryens ever so slightly. Because there are a number of Dragonstone vassals in the area. I think they're actually running around following the Marshal. And I think they might be trying to mount an attack against Greenstone, which is obviously the last remaining fief that the Targaryens have. And I'm not entirely sure whether it's under siege just yet, because I've just been waiting here for some time just for, well, just for ambush sake, basically. And finally, we have a target. So let's see if we can take on Mr. John Connington and his friend. I, I don't know what his friend's name is, but we'll see if we can achieve a victory here. Now, I don't really have the best composition anymore. I mean, generally, I, I have still a huge amount of household guards, but that's not really going to be that effective for us in the long run because they obviously do not have shields. And if we do have to go into a siege at Greenstone, for example, then it's going to be problematic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mainly use my cleaver for the most part to try and just weaken people a little bit on my horse. Things are going to maybe not go too too well though because as you can see they just they if they charge straight in, straight into us here they can do so much damage with their lances if they do have lances it doesn't seem like the Targaryen and Targaryen cavalry actually have a huge amount of lances but I really don't want to 
take too much damage from the enemy's vanguards. Those guys are pretty insane. And I don't know whether they have relatively similar stats to our vanguards, but if they do, then I definitely pity our enemies, considering they have to go up against so many of ours. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get off my mount and try and assist my people on foot. Okay, don't kill my horse now, please. I would appreciate it. Yes. This is what you get. Yes, very good. Okay, that is actually pretty awesome. I was actually kind of hoping that that would be the case where my Warhammer would be able to outrange most of the enemy's attacks. So I think that's pretty awesome. And... Uh, we're getting some more people coming in here. Maybe I can... Oh, I really wanted to do a thrust there, but I moved the mouse in the wrong direction. Fantastic. Oh, well, never mind. We took him off his mount anyway. And I think I think we got this, actually. I think we got this. We are taking some uh, not too bad casualties so far. Not as bad as that... You know, not as bad as when we defended the Weeping Town, because we actually did lose a pretty significant number there. And maybe, just maybe, I will be able to even survive this. I think that would be nice. And then I think what I'll try to do is I'll see what the situation is at Greenstone, if it's actually being taken or if they are deciding to go over there because they were kind of... I think they were near Mistwood? I think they were near Mistwood and they're just kind of chilling out there for some reason. So that must mean that they might be doing something about that. They haven't called me with a task or anything, so... Not entirely sure whether they are just preparing for it, and then they will send me a message or something. Maybe that would be the case. Whoa, okay, that is not a good sight to see for a whole bunch of people without any shields. That is a line of 10 power draw archers, because apparently, according to one of you in the comments, the Targaryen archers have 10 in power draw, even though they only have about 100... Ooh, I just took 52 damage. Yeah. Yeah, they only have about 120 or 130 or something in their weapon proficiency. But them being able to do so much damage if they do... Yeah. Like that. If they do actually hit you is ludicrous. That is an ins... Wow. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have to retreat. I'm going to have to retreat. There's nothing else I can do. That is insane. Most of our casualties were done at the very end there, in the last 30 seconds or so. That is pretty crazy. I'm actually going to send my units just to charge straight on in there because I don't want to deal with those longbowmen, to be honest. Those longbowmen are extremely deadly. Very deadly indeed. These guys managed to escape, which is unfortunate. I will be able to take a couple of people prisoner, though, and try and fund... Some additional investments, I suppose. Maybe I should make my way over to Essos and maybe create my own faction or something like that. I kind of want to stay with Dragonstone, though. I know that a lot of people are saying that I should stay with Stannis, and a lot of people on the other side of things are wanting me to create my own faction. Now, bear in mind, I have created my own faction in basically every single series I have created, with the exception of maybe two? Maybe, yeah, maybe two or maybe three. And I've created so many. I've created like 20, I don't know, 25, 30 different series of Warband mods. So that's that's pretty insane. Anyway, all right. So let's take a look at the map here and actually take a look and see. Uh, yeah, so they did take Old Town. They've taken High Garden. They've taken Horn Hill. And what's actually, what actually happened here? So apparently that has been taken. Okay, so... Were the Dragonstone vassals actually taking that? Why are they... Wa Can I just ask? Why are they waging war against Dawn when that is probably the worst thing they could possibly do? I have no idea. I suppose we'll find out in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.